Welcome back everybody. So I've checked out a lot of mechanical keyboards on this channel, but something I haven't checked too many out of are mechanical gaming keypads. And these are basically keyboard style mechanical gamepads that are just meant for one-handed use for gaming, it's supposed to be more ergonomic and maybe a little bit easier to use. In front of me I have one from one by one, it's spelled weirdly but it's the number one by one, link down below to the product itself. Uh, and this mechanical gaming keypad is the cheapest option that actually has mechanical switches at $59. There's a lot of options out there like from Razer and whatnot that are over $100 and there's cheaper options that don't use mechanical switches, but this is the cheapest one. I could find with mechanical switches and of course I will be giving one away all you got to do to win is one subscribe to the channel two like the video and three comment below that you want one when the video reaches 5900 likes for a $59 price tag I will announce the winner in a comment down below so starting off with the overview, uh, it's a pretty big unit. Honestly, when you're thinking a keypad, you're thinking like, oh, it'll be smaller than a keyboard itself. It really fills up your entire hand space. It's bigger than you might think. It has a pretty big footprint. Uh, you've got some angular design going on all throughout this thing uh, with a rubberish wrist rest that's pretty nice. And then coming up the top, you have a braided cable. Always great to see braided cables. They are far superior to rubber cables in every way. And uh, yeah, and then uh, the color scheme in general is just a black color scheme with the RGB lighting that I'll talk more about later. So build quality. As I mentioned, the wrist rest is rubberish, a soft, nice material there that feels really good on your wrist. And then the whole casing in general is a matte black plastic that's also a soft touch plastic. So that also feels great. And then around the bottom, we have this aluminum plate and I assume they put that there for rigidity and so it doesn't slide around as much. Uh, so it's good stuff there. So moving on to key layout, normally I hate it when manufacturers change up the layout because uh, I'm so used to the normal layout of a keyboard and that's what my typing depends on. But with a keypad like this, where it's all about ergonomics and comfort, it's a little more excusable. So the space bar right off the bat is really weird. It's this silver thing up here, but your thumb rests perfectly naturally on it when your hand is on the keypad and it works perfectly fine. Uh, but what's probably weirder is the shift and control key are one row higher than they would be on a keyboard. And that's weird at first and would be weird if you're typing on it but again because you're using it for gaming it's okay they got rid of the caps lock button uh, because you're going to be reprogramming these keys anyway depending on the game you're playing and you'll also notice that they they include weird keys like we have the p key the b key and the g key over here all of which would not be there normally on a keyboard but the point is those are there because those are keys that are normally used in gaming and those are there because you're probably going to end up reprogramming them anyway depending on the game you're playing so interesting key selection and the layout is definitely weird but that's not necessarily a bad thing on a gaming keypad like it would be on a regular keyboard Moving on to the keycaps, you're looking at ABS keycaps, they definitely pick up grease and smudges and oil pretty well, uh, so be careful with that, you're going to have to keep it clean, and there's definitely a gamer aggressive font on there, makes sense because this is targeted directly at gamers, so it's kind of okay, uh, but I, I typically don't like the gamer font that much, but again, it is literally a gaming keypad. So moving on to lighting, it does have RGB LED lighting in here to cycle through the presets. It's just escape and the one through six key. They have all the normal presets in there like uh, wave and fade and reaction and like explosion. Like all that kind of stuff is in there and the presets are great. They get bright enough, especially to see in the dark. The software they have for this is for Windows and I have a Mac so I haven't tested it, but from the reviews I've read and the research I did, it's a very bad software. So probably just stick to the presets. And then the weirdest thing about it all is that the lighting out here is just red. Like you can't change this lighting. Doesn't really make sense that they make it programmable RGB lighting if you can't change the side lighting. A little bit annoying, but you know, I'll deal with it. And moving on to the switches, they're using Kale Blue switches in here, and Kale was one of the first Cherry MX Blue clone companies, and the blue switches feel just like the Cherry MX Blue switches. So good stuff there. Uh, that is what made this specific option enticing is that it's mechanical at this price point. So it's good that they included some pretty good mechanical switches in there. Normally this is where I would do a typing test and a sound test because it's always good to see how fast you can type on keyboards and what it sounds like when you're typing. Can't type on this. Obviously it's not a full keyboard whatsoever. I will still give you a sound test so you can hear what it's like while gaming or something. Uh, so I'm just kind of gonna use it and you can listen. You can see the mic pointing down to pick up the sound a little bit better. So that's just to give you an idea. Okay, so conclusion time. This is kind of a conclusion for all mechanical gaming keypads in general. 
If you really have a problem with a full size keyboard in your mouse and like the spacing or anything and you need one of these, go ahead and pick one up. You're, you're, I mean, if you really need it, it's gonna satisfy you and you're gonna like it, but I really just don't see the need for it. There's multiple sizes of keyboards out there. If the spacing is an issue, you can get mechanical keyboards for $30. If price is an issue, that's half the, less than half the price and you actually get a full keyboard with it. And all the hassle you're gonna have to deal with reprogramming keys per game because of the weird layout and everything, it's probably not worth the hassle, at least in my opinion. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.